Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys five must have applications for your Android smartphone. Now, these apps come from the suggestions you gave me when I posted a week ago to let me know what favorite Android apps you use on your Android smartphone or your Samsung smartphone. So let's dive in and get started. Now, if you want to download these applications, the links are going to be down below. Just simply click the link that's in the top comment or in the description below. It's going to take you to my website. And on my website, I have conveniently listed each application with a link to download that application. So for app number one that I'm going to showcase, you just tap on it. It takes you to Play Store, boom, boom, you install, and you're good to go. Same for all the other applications I'm going to showcase in this video. So the links are down below. Let's dive into the first application. So the very first app I want to talk about is KWGT widgets. These are amazing. So this widget right here actually is part of one of those. And here's a few other examples of the kind of widgets you can have on your screen using this application. This one, this one, this one, this one, and hundreds and thousands of more. So after you download the application, and like I said, the link is going to be down below. What you want to do is you want to pinch your screen. You want to tap on widgets, all right? And then it's going to show up right here, custom widget. You tap on it, and then you pick a size that you want. All of these are resizable. Let's just pick something slightly larger so you can see what it looks like. So let's go with a three by three. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to dump it right here. Now, before you start to actually customize it, you can actually resize it if you want. Once you're done, you just tap the back button. This is the area it's going to take. Now, once you're done, you tap on it to start the customization process. Now, you have some featured widgets here. Some of them are free. Anything that says pro next to it, you have to pay a couple bucks to unlock it. That's fine. You're going to get a lot of nice and free ones. And once you tap on one of these guys, it's going to take you to the Play Store and you just install that package. Then you go back here and you go to install and they're going to show up right here. So as you install the packages, the widgets are going to show up right here and you can go into individual packages that you have installed to get a breakdown of all the available widgets for that particular package as you please. All right, just keep that in mind. So these are the ones I've just installed here. We do have a base pack. Now let's go with the base pack just as an example. I'm going to tap on it. All right. Let's say I want to use this one right here. Actually, let's go with this one. So all you do is you tap on it. It takes you to the customization window from where you can customize everything. The items, the background, the layers, the global variables, shortcuts, touch, whatever. So just to give you an example, if I go to items, You'll see that there's a, the, it says Friday, it's got the time, the date. You can see that from here. That's the Friday, that's the date. You can go inside and customize the fonts for each. So if I were to go back here, just as a quick example, let's go to the, uh, to, to the time right there. I can tap on the font to change the font uh, type. I can tap on size. As you can see, that's increasing the size of the actual clock. Once I'm done with the modifications, I just go back to the main screen right here and I tap on save. Once I do that, I tap the home button and boom, I've got that widget right there. Remember, you can press and hold and customize these as you please if you want to make more space for other things. So that's fantastic. Those are KW uh, GT widgets. Go for the uh, Base pack, again, you can go for all these packs and enjoy all these various widgets. All right, so don't hesitate to uh, experiment. So let's go for the base. Let's look at this one. All right, I like the way that looks. I'm going to tap on save, go home. Now I got the battery meter, 59% battery left. Shows me a nice percentage. So that's number one. Let's move on to number two. All right, next application I want to talk about is Zedge. Again, this came for you as a recommendation. You tap on this one, and basically you've got hundreds and thousands of wallpapers you can pick uh, for your actual smartphone. Uh, they'll ask you to choose a plan if you want a clean, ad-free experience, a faster performance. But if not, just X out, and you can do this for free. So you can go pick any wallpaper, all right? Uh, tap on here exit out. You can swipe to see similar wallpapers in a given class of wallpapers. Once you're ready, you tap on this. 
okay? You tap on got it, and then you say that you want to say done, and it says download and set, or you can see this as a photo. It's all up to you. Download and set on the home screen, allow, and then let's see what happens. Beautiful wallpaper uh, just became my background wallpaper. Let me just remove this. There you go. Beautiful wallpaper, okay? Completely free. Now, when you go to Zedge, you have the option uh, to go through. Uh, you will get ads because this is the fact that it's free. You have to deal with the ads. So, but you can tap here. You can download ringtones. You can download video wallpapers. All right. You can download notification sounds, and you can go for premium. But with wallpapers, you've got all these categories. You would have anime. You tap on this. You get your anime wallpapers. You tap on the wallpaper. You can scroll through similar wallpapers, uh, like I said, just like that, all right? So that's fantastic. Let me go back here, scroll down. Again, you get the point. You can download this for free, okay? And of course, if you want, you can search. So if you want to uh, put some Dragon Ball wallpapers, just search for it. Boom, they're going to appear right there, as you can see, all right? Tap on that. Again, scroll through for similar stuff. Okay, so that's app number two. Next application I want to talk about is the Power Amp Music Player. This is something I used a while back and I forgot about it. So one of you guys reminded me of it and I did download this again. I actually paid for it because I really like it. So tap on it. It's a music player. It's absolutely gorgeous. So at the bottom you have a menu. You tap on this menu. You can go to your library. You can choose from all these categories. Your artist, genres, whatever. Tap on that, for example. Let's pick one artist here. Let's just go for this one here, okay? And then when you play this, let me kill the volume so we don't get any copyright strikes. So you tap on the play, okay? And then you can expand it. And look at how we have a little thing that just scrolls through. You can fast forward back and forth. Uh, I'm sorry, seek a certain part of the music just like this. That's amazing. And then you have things like equalizer. Um, so over here, you tap on this one. You can pick between all these equalizers. You've got this nice little thing. Everything can be modified here. The bass, the treble, whatever you want. And then one more time, you got this over here. And you have this over here for real, real audio files. Now, if I go back here, also I can tap on this button and I can get a nice visualization, as you can see, uh, which is over the background. It plays over the background. I can turn it off. I can go for this mode. This is also an option, visualization. And I can long press for more options. They told me I can long press for more options, as you can see. And that's it, okay? Or you can just have this one. Let's move on to the next application. So let's move on to the next application. Now I'm gonna, this is the Snapseed application. This is actually by Google. It's funny that I did not know it even existed. So you open it up, you tap anywhere to open a photo. So let's just pick any photo. Just to give you an example, I'm gonna tap on this one right here. And then you're able to edit this photo to an amazing degree. You got your regular um, filters here, as you can see, faded glow, morning, bright, whatever. You can do this on any photo. You can save it. But then you also have the tool section, which allows you to change just about every aspect of these phones. You can go for the grainy film stuff. Okay, so look at that. And I can have different effects for different intensity effects for each. I can change the intensity of the effect, as you can see, all right, just by swiping. That's great. Then I can save it. Again, I can tap on tools, tune the image, crop the image, rotate the image, add some drama to the image. So as you can see, again, you can go like this to change the intensity of the actual uh, drama. All right, so you can do this with any photo. Snapseed is 100% free and gives you powerful editing tools for free. Let's move on. Final application I want to talk about is known as Volume Styles application. You tap on this one, all right? And what you can do is normally when you press this, you have these volume effects that come standard with your Samsung smartphone, such as this one here. But when you use this one, you can tap on start. Now take a look at what happens. Now I have these beautiful volume controls that are fully customizable. Let me show you one more example so you get the point. I can scroll down and I, pick, I can pick various different things over here. Let's go for, for this one as an example. Okay, so I'm going to say, I'm going to go back out, tap on this. Look at that. So I can have all these volume sliders. 
uh, in different formats as I please. I'm going to stop it. Let's go down. Let's just try one more so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Elastic. Again, most of this app is free. All right. Uh, go home. Press on this. Now look at what's happening. We have all these different styles. Fantastic. Again, all the links to these applications are going to be down below. So go grab them. They're all free to download with options to upgrade if you so desire. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.